An atmospheric river will start to cause major problems in California and the southwestern United States tonight all the way into Tuesday. An atmospheric river is basically when moist air is rapidly transported from a tropical climate into a specific area. On the Zero Z GFS, you can really see how the moisture is pushed into the southwestern United States. For tonight, Saturday night, there is a slight risk of excessive rainfall in California. This includes major cities such as San Francisco and San Jose in the marginal risk around the slight risk. This includes major cities such as Sacramento and Fresno. For tomorrow, Sunday, February the 4th, there is a high risk issued in California. This includes major cities such as Santa Barbara and Oxnard in the moderate risk Outside of the high risk, this includes major cities such as Los Angeles, Lompoc, Santa Maria, San Luis Obispo, San Francisco, and with the slight risk around that, that includes major cities such as Sacramento, Modesto, Santa Rosa, Palmdale, Santa Ana. With the marginal risk around the slight, this includes major cities such as Bakersville, Victorville, from Monday, February the 5th. There is another moderate risk issued in California for excessive rainfall. This includes major cities such as Los Angeles, Oceanside, Riverside, and outside of that and the slight risk. This includes major cities such as Santa Maria, Lancaster, Victorville, Oxnard, and then the marginal risk outside of that. This includes major cities such as Las Vegas, Nevada, Bakersville, California, Salinas, California, Fresno, California. Sacramento, California. For Tuesday, February the 6th, there are two slight risks currently up, one in California and one in Arizona. The slight risk in California includes major cities such as Los Angeles, Long Beach, Oceanside, and San Diego. The slight risk of excessive rainfall extends from California into Nevada and Arizona. In this marginal risk, this includes major cities such as Bakersfield, California, Henderson, Nevada, Phoenix, Arizona, Yuma, Arizona. For Wednesday, February the 7th, there is a marginal risk of excessive rainfall that extends from Arizona into a little bit of New Mexico. This includes major cities such as Phoenix, Arizona, and Tuscan, Arizona. On the Zero Z GFS for tonight, all the way into Wednesday night are showing over three to four inches in Northern California in Central California up to almost four inches in Southern California totals almost over five and maybe six inches showing up on the zero Z GFS on the zero Z H triple R it shows heavy rain moving into night and this will change into the snow into California's mountain ranges early tomorrow morning and will also change into snow into Nevada tomorrow morning as well. This heavy rain will push through California and will still give some very heavy snow into California's mountains and Nevada's mountains as well. There will also be snow that moves into Oregon and Idaho as well with rain mixing in with that as well. The heaviest rain in California will move through tonight all the way into late tomorrow night and will have some breaks in the precipitation after that. On the Zero Z GFS, in California's mountains, almost over 50 inches just showing up in some isolated spots and over 20 inches showing up in central Nevada, as well as over 8, 9, 10, and 11 inches showing up in Oregon with some spots in Idaho and Wyoming seeing almost over 18 inches on the Zero Z GFS. In Utah, over 10 inches showing up in some spots and 11 inches. In Arizona, over 11 inches showing up on the Zero Z GFS. The Zero Z HRRR also shows high wind gusts, almost over 70 miles per hour in some spots on the California coast and inland into central California and south central California, over 40 to 45 miles per hour showing up on Sunday. All of this will come together to create very hazardous conditions over the southwestern United States over the next couple of days. Please stay as up to date as you can throughout these next couple of days if you live in the southwestern United States with your weather updates and make sure you can always have access to the latest updates. That's going to pretty much be it for this video. I know it was pretty quick and put together pretty quickly but 
I wanted to do that so I could get uh, this video out as quickly as I could. Uh, I hope everyone stays safe, and I hope all of y'all have a great rest of y'all's night, and have a safe day tomorrow.